Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Disgaea 5. Uh, we just finished, I think chapter 6 was what we finished. We're going to show um, the uh, like the beginning cutscenes of the next chapter before I, I uh, end this off. This is just kind of like an intro, I guess. But yeah, one night has passed since the first battle. I have to tell you guys something. I, I used to be the great demon fist, Goldion's apprentice. What? Sir Kilia is the great demon fist, Goldion's apprentice. Red Magnus could tell you weren't an ordinary guy, but to find <laughs> out you were Goldion's apprentice is super surprising. It's funny that this kid said it and they didn't like the ultimate demon technique was only passed They don't really care. Apprentice, but there was another apprentice besides Zoroken Blip. The tradition of only passing it down to a single apprentice is just a rumor. There are other successors. I see. I see. So Kilia was also an apprentice of Goldion. No wonder you can use the same skill as Zerokin. But Sir Kilia, in that case, you should have told us. As far as I was concerned, the less I had to talk about it, the better. Back then, I was a hopeless man. I was born and raised in the one netherworld where the scum of all demon kind eventually ends up. Cryo blood. It's a bloodbath of a world where you had to fight just to survive. Every day was a cycle of fighting and betrayal. When I finally stood atop that netherworld, I had become the overlord. That was when I met Goldion. Speaking of cryo blood, it was ruled by the infamous tyrant overlord Kilidia. Damn. Are you so is Kalidia the red haired? I haven't been called that in a long Oh, yeah. Tyrant Kalidia, the legendary overlord who claimed the title of strongest overlord and suddenly disappeared from the public eye. The fact that he is Kilia is world shattering <laughs> news, Flip. The strongest overlord was here all this time? Kilia! Red Magnus challenges you to a match right now! But he's been holding in the Kalidia powers, Kalidia I guess. Kalidia is mine. I won't let a musclehead put a scratch in my precious brand name item. You weren't just an ordinary demon after all. Kilia has enormous magic potential, so I can believe it. But I can't believe that the Kilia who saved me... And the tyrant overlord Kalidia are one in the same blip! I used to be a bloodthirsty savage. Then Goldion appeared before me and handed me my first taste of defeat. He saw right through me and could tell that I couldn't control my powers. That's when he told me to become his apprentice. I wasn't interested in controlling my powers and I didn't want to be his apprentice, but I wanted to defeat him, so I played along. I mean no disrespect, but Goldion must be pretty unique to take Kilia in as his apprentice. Or was he just a meddler? <laughs> Probably. Is Goldion responsible for Kilia's undemonic personality? He was a pretty meddlesome guy, but he taught me the ultimate demon technique so that I could control my powers. Wasn't it just because you had great potential, Flip? Maybe. But this is now the third time I've betrayed him. Your third betrayal? What do you mean? Zorokin, you said that his old scar was the reason Goldion lost to Void Dark, right? Yeah. Well, I was the one who gave him that scar. Damn. I was able to master his skills, one after another, except for one. What was I missing? To teach me, Goldion took the skill I unleashed full on, without any protection. Because of that, he was greatly injured. I still couldn't figure out what I was missing, so I ran away. That was my first betrayal. And if Goldion lost to Void Dark, and became Demon General Bloodus, then... That was the second. That was my third betrayal. Wait, then what about the second? Wait, what? 
Can you count? From what you've said, Goldion doesn't seem like someone who would just obey Void Dark. That's what I think too. Something's going on with that. I owe Goldion a lot. I. I understand your situation now. In that case, I'll help you out too, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> when did you and I become brothers? <laughs> You're Goldion. I mean, Master's Apprentice, which makes us fellow apprentices. Yeah. I didn't think he had any other apprentices besides me. Why would he take this kid I'm on? sorry for calling you a thief, bro. I'm so confused. You called him a thief countless times. And why is he like... ...flexible with your opinions? I'm beyond amazed so and a understandable. admiration. Let's forget about our past misdeeds and focus on saving Master. Right, bro? The frivolous overlord Zerokin forced his way into becoming an ally. <laughs> Past Struggles, Part 1. Episode 7, Past Struggles, Part 1. That bloodish guy. Even though it was by Lord Void Dark's orders, he tried to steal my prey. Toto Bunny's Usalia and Scorching Flame's Red Magnus. They are both my prey. Demon General Lady Macharita, we received a report. It seems Demon General Bloodus has been injured battling the rebel army. What? The rebel army injured Bloodus? Yes. As unbelievable as it seems, it's true. <laughs> How interesting. Having trouble taking care of those guys is one strike against you, Bloodus. So, any updates on the Rebel Army's movement? Yes. They haven't made any major moves, but at this rate they're going to attack Demon General Bloodus' main base. Probably. From their point of view, this is a great opportunity to defeat the Demon General. They wouldn't let it go to waste. We have already prepared reinforcements. We only await your orders, Lady Majorita. Reinforcements? Though it may not be ideal, don't you think it's rude to send a demon general reinforcements? Besides, if he gets defeated by a rebel army, then he doesn't deserve to be one of Lord Void Dark's demon generals. Call him off. But we can't abandon an ally. Oh, you're gonna get killed. You better, yeah, yeah, you better just call them off. Oh no. That's why I hate living organisms. The dead don't talk back to her. And Damn. Corpses are much easier to handle. I can't wait to kill her. I'm dying for it. Yeah, no pun intended on that, but I am. Ah, I can't wait to kill her. The Netherworld at its shop is completed, dude. Netherworld at its shop. What, you, what can you do with this? this is fun. Edit interior. Oh, we can edit our our uh, our hub base. Cool. What? 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 Oh, we can move the people too. Awesome. I can put you like, 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 like right here. Oh, gee, that's awesome. <laughs> this is weird, though. I'll, I'll put her here though, cause she's the curry. She's the curry girl. Look at these printies. Printy on the table. What's this printy? He's like just not there. Why are you all the way over here? You need to be with the group. All right. Uh, we'll put you. We we'll have you. We rotate. How do we rotate? Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll put him. Let's put him up here. Yeah. 
Yay! <laughs> Move. Cool. Okay. Um, how do we how do we go back? Menu. Place the three D object. Place a character. No. All right. Save base. Yay! Quit. Edit interior. Original switch interior. Original interior. What's the original interior? Compared to the default interior. I'm a little bit confused on that. Oh, what? What the hell? And we can save the base like this? Just like a, a grid? It's weird. Add an exterior. Is this our base? Blood perch parts. Edit. Aerial. Dragon Fang parts. This is weird. We can make it look Dragon Fangy though, or like a little of, of all of them. I like that, you know. The lower half. Optional. We'll have that be blood parts, I guess. Another world effect. Okay, save it. So that's the base we're in. This is weird. I like it though. Oh, cool, so he's up here now. That's cool. It's kind of weird, but cool. Alright, um, I'm gonna end this here, like I said. Oh, well, actually. I figured that something would trigger when we talk to the Dimension God. According to information I've just received, the Demon General has retreated to San Kano, dude! San Kano. I'm sorry, but I'm going by myself. What, what are you saying, Sir Kilia? You are mine. I won't let you act selfishly. It's my fault Goldion was brainwashed by Void Dark and became his puppet. I can't let you guys get involved in my personal matters. Let me take care of this on my own. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you trying to hog all the super fun battles for yourself? Red Magnus says hell no! The old man's right. Trying to leave your little apprentice brother ain't cool, bro. <laughs> your little apprentice brother? Kelia, you risked your life to save Usalia from her problem, which didn't concern you. It's Usalia's turn to help you, Blit. Sir Kelia, did you think you could run away from me? I will not allow that to happen. <laughs> you guys... Nope. Just give up, Kilia. Don't you know these people don't listen once they've made up their minds? Plus, if we can free the great demon fist Goldion from his brainwashing, we can get him to join the... Yeah, Revolution. that would be awesome. Then our probability of defeating Void Dark will rise significantly, right? That is a good idea. And I will have one more servant to kneel before me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see who among them will be the first to die. Shut up! <laughs> so now we know that's Kildia, Shut most likely. Up. I won't let anyone die. Can you tell her that? Lisa. No matter how much you try, those who are with you will all die sooner or later. It has always been like that, right? Hurry up and unleash me. Then I can clean everything up for you. <laughs> San San Kano, another world covered in magma and des deserts. The laws came for the magma energy. So this would be where we're going next to the bloody quicksand, but. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna end that there. Uh, we're probably gonna look around for, um, like, dude, is there better equipment sold here? Yeah, yeah, there's super better equipment. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna gear up, we're gonna get better armor, and, um, we'll worry about heading to San Kano next time. I hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, actually, before I end it, let's check to see if, um, if there's any more recruitable people quest 
Oh, okay, so we can recruit her father, the Dragon Overlord. Um, so we'll grab that. Chimera's Ninetale. Uh, the Sea Angel. C CW Amont, Demon Lord. If you can overcome the challenge I give you, then I'll let you unleash the, nec cl the next class higher than Demon Demon Lord. Do you want to try it? Character World Jeffrey. Sure. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Alright. Oh! We've actually completed two. The Sea Angel. So we've unlocked that thing. If you guys want to be that, let me know. And we unlock the, chim the Chimera. So I'll take that. Oh, okay. Uh, next time we'll face the Dragon Overlord, I think. And, uh... Check how that works out. Um, because I I know that should unlock another level in the uh, the uh, dragon fang, yeah, the dragon overlord. Should we do that now? Hmm. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. Oh, there he is, Drum Dawn. I already heard from Izuna first. I want to thank you for defending my netherworld from the lost. But this is a different story. If you want my power, then you will have to fight with all your might. Alright then, let's begin. Alright, let's go. we'll take down the Dragon Lord. I'm psyched for this. It's my turn. Yeah. So we'll do this before I hand it. This sounds I'm like a nice this. end to uh, this part. We'll murderize the Demon Lord. This is nothing compared to the Lost. Metal of Evil. <clears throat> Try to sit back there and shoot your spell. Don't think so. Now. Counter him. Ah, oh, damn it, kill ya. So I'm trying to counter. I think this is where he's at. There you go. Can I hit them from here? No, but possibly from here. Oh, alright. These are stronger than I thought. We'll get them though. Let's throw a heal on us. And we'll turn there. Alright, come across. What the hell? The angle is really that bad? Hey, Foxies! And, and shoot at you. That's taken care of. How many we got left? Just the Demon Lord squad. Alright. Kill ya. This is the the Tyrant Overlord. Kill... What do you say that is? Kill Dia, I think. Kill Dia. Something like that. Bring it! So, so, uh, so he was a, over a tyrant overlord that, that was born on, like, a planet of just blood and decay and gore. He climbed his way to the top somehow. Uh, he lost, but to, uh, to Goldion. Goldion took him on because, of, I guess, he, see he seen potential. Um, as an apprentice. Um, still doesn't, I uh, don't know how he met Lise, but she pro she's also, I guess, she taught him how to not be as evil in this as he was. 
Double flame. We can do this. We don't need no more characters to help. Us three can take them out. Damn it. Frosty Breeze. Ow. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Looks like I'm only hitting him. Oh, wait, we can do that. They can help us out here. Oh, the one missed. Get him, kill ya, kill ya. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, 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 I got killed ya on my head. I'm sorry. It's hard not to say it. Uh, I'm doing this. Have to kill ya. Not letting you take kill ya out. You crazy? You gonna take your master out? Oh, come on. Get him, kill ya. Oh, she's dead. Oh, that sucked. That's fine, though. Kill ya has it. He's got this taken care of. Oh, you got? One hit away from death. We did it. We got a dragon with us. The overlord of Dragon Fang. Drum Dawn, he's level 40. Cool. <laughs> Alright guys, that's where I'll end it off. Thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. We got Drum Dawn with us. Somehow. It wasn't, well, not somehow. It wasn't really hard at all. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time we'll head to, uh, was it San Cano? See you guys then.